Hey everybody, Carl Rothschild here. I brought David Wong back. You know that I'd asked you about a particular couple of different pieces of equipment. So what do you have to say for us? Yeah, so we're talking about the biocharger and also the EE system and how they compare with red light therapy beds and how they compare with aura coils or chi coils. All those systems are actually quite great. They're really great technologies. And some of them have a lot of usage and a lot of clinical trials behind them. So they're great technologies. I'm just going to explain to you some main differences behind their technologies, what's the pros and cons. And if you're somebody who is thinking about investing in one of these, I think it's important for you to pay attention to this webinar because you're going to get some information that is going to help you make your decision about it. Let's start with the biochargers. Biocharger, in a nutshell, it's a Tesla coil. So if you know what Tesla coil is, you can get these Tesla coils from eBay or Amazon, and they're actually quite inexpensive, like a hundred bucks or so. So how Tesla coils work is they create a really high voltage so that when it goes through this, these coils, these wires, the, the energy or the current doesn't have anywhere to go. So it goes up to this tip here, this, this electrode. And because there's no ground, it goes through the air and the, the electricity grounds itself around the air. So it basically creates something called static electricity in the air. So you can have large ones, like you see, like Nikola Tesla has a really big one that he made. You can see like a biocharger, they have ones this big, or you can get smaller ones like this. So the fundamental basis is this Tesla coil, it charges the air and it creates static electricity, okay? Let's talk about the good part about it. The good part about it is that it is wireless, right? You don't have to make contact with it. Actually, you don't wanna make contact with it because it's gonna burn your hand because the voltages are extremely high, they can literally fry your skin. And the advantages is that you can put different frequencies into it and, and it is actually very strong and very potent, let's just say. So the good thing is that there's many people who have positive experiences with the biocharger. It's a good machine to invest in. So now let's talk about some of the cons. First of all, I myself have tried it and as well, I've talked to many chiropractors and physicians who have the biocharger. They actually have this in the office and be using it for some time. The thing I don't like about it is that it's very loud. Okay. You can see, look at some of the videos on YouTube with Tesla coils. They are very loud, especially the biocharger. It goes zap. Like literally, that's how it sounds like. And so when you're meditating, that's not the most meditative sound you want to be listening to. Also, the energy I feel, and many people agree, that is very harsh and abrasive. I would categorize it as something like very intense yang energy, and I'll explain yin and yang in it after this. But it's very intense yang energy. And what is yang energy is really focused and activating. And for some people, if you use it for a long time or even a short time, it may feel uncomfortable and cause some anxiety or maybe even a lot of anxiety. It's imagine you're getting a massage, right? You want something therapeutic and you're getting a massage with a jackhammer, right? Like this. Some people may like it. Some people need that because they're, they need that like shock in their system to, to have something happen or make them feel it. But I think on a long-term basis, I don't think it's something you would want to be using too much and too often. So that's some of the cons about it. Some other pros about it actually is that this energy, and they would say it's more powerful, which it is, then people will feel it more. They'll feel it more. They say, oh, I feel this like buzzing sensation in my skin. But that's just the static electricity in the air. The same thing happens if you charge up the air with a lightning bolt or something like that. And another good thing is that it looks impressive because you've got these light tubes and they're basically showing that, oh, because we're charging the air with this static electricity, these fluorescent tubes are lighting up. But which is a good thing you get that aesthetic appeal. And then they have a lot of research that's dated back to 1910, 1920s of people using these light tubes and saying there's a benefit from them, which it could be true. And back then they obviously didn't have LEDs, the LEDs that we see that make all our lighting these days. The LEDs we see, you're watching this presentation on the LED screen. So back then they don't have that. So the only thing they could use to create these lights were using gas tubes, but now, we know that when they excite, excite the gas tubes, they're exciting all those neon argon gases, noble gases, which there's no evidence that actually good for you. 
And also, those gas tubes are expensive to replace. So if they burn out, you got to replace them. I think it's quite expensive. And I had some people complain about the bar, about charger specifically about that. So what's the main difference between the Qi coils is that Qi coils is just a lot more comfortable. And because they have a yin and yang. So let me explain what yin and yang is. So yin is the feminine, yang is the masculine. Yin is more relaxing, opening, balancing. Like you think about water, it's flows and it's smooth, right? Yang is more like aggressive, masculine, more harsh, focused, and think of it as like fire, that would be yang, all right? So to optimize your health, you wanna be balancing the energies, just like in TCM, we know that we wanna balance the yin and yang. And in ancient studies, we know we wanna balance the yin and yang. So if you have too much yang, that's actually not good for you. So with the yin, with our qi coils, we have both yin and yang. There's actually different energies that you'll feel depending on which coil you use. And I'm gonna to explain to you how when you use them together, you're gonna to create something called scalar energy. You have the yin coil, that opens up, relaxes, and it's very soothing. And then you have the yang coil, which is very activating and very focusing and very aggressive. So depending on what you need on that day, what your patients need, you can actually switch between coils. And that option is not available for with these other technologies like bottle charger. And for long-term use, you can literally use the yin coil all day long and just have it in the office playing in the background. And basically everybody in their office will benefit from that gentle, soothing yin energy that's going to balance, calm, and actually activate and energize you, not in a very aggressive, like caffeine, supercharged, jolting way, but energize you in a soothing, relaxed, and calm way, which is ideally what you want. Because if you want to be in the zone, that's what in the zone means. It means you have a very relaxed, calm, and vibrant energy. And that's where you want to be on a daily basis monthly basis, yearly basis for longevity and for cultivating chi. I call it cultivating chi, but basically it's cultivating life force and then offering you a preventative health and a higher level of quality of life. Some other main important things is that if you study what chakras are, chakras, guess what shape they are? They've measured chakras with uh, something really sensitive cameras and they found that they actually spiral. So your chakra, it's talking about every chakra in your body, your crown chakra, your pineal gland, throat chakra, heart chakra, sacral chakra, all your chakras, they are in a tornado. You have one in the front and you have one in the back, all right? Every chakra has a cone in the front and a cone in the back. So with something like a Tesla coil, there is no shape of that, okay? It, if you look at the electricity that comes out of Tesla, it goes, there's no shape to it. It's very random and chaotic. So that alone, tells you what kind of energy is going into your body when you're using a Tesla coil. It's just chaotic, <laughs> going over the place. Now, if you look at what Qi coils, look at the design, this is based on the phi ratio, 1.618, which is the shape of nature. The shape of nature, you can look at apples. Apples are shaped in the torus. The earth magnetic field is shaped in the torus. Galaxies are shaped in the torus. So nature is in the shape of the torus. And now we have fusion reactors shaped in torus. So we know that if you want to create energy in the most natural way, you need to use the shape of the torus, and that's what we use. We use these counter rotate, rotational clockwise and counterclockwise yin yang torus in order to emulate something that's going to interface or interact with your natural biofield much more naturally than just the Tesla coil energy. Just because it's Tesla doesn't mean it's a more beneficial for you, okay? Now, um, another thing is when power charges, they use these fluorescent tubes, they hold it and say, hey, look, I'm holding this fluorescent tube, it's lighting up in the air. You know what? I can do that the same with the Qi coils. You just need to pump in a ton of voltage, like a lot of volts. And then with Qi coils, you can do the same thing. You can use a fluorescent bulb and you can light it up without touching anything, okay? So that's nothing special about the biochargers. The Qi coils can do it if you pump in a ton of voltage, which is what they're doing into those biochargers. Another thing, so basically I think that Oracle is a lot safer to use. It balances you a lot better. It's a lot more in tune with the ancient concepts of yin and yang. And for long-term use and daily use and background use, I think it's a lot better. And another important point is that I looked into it and Bar Charger has 1,000 programs. We have 12,000 plus programs 
with our Chico systems, m resonant console. So we have 12 times more frequencies and energy signal, energy resonances that you can use with our system versus the biocharger. Another benefit is you can tell that it's a work of art. It's a work of art. Biochargers, they more they have the lights, but it's not very pretty. Okay. People think this is beautiful. People think that this is just therapeutic just to look at, even if it's not turned on, just looking at it in the office, they have sapphire gems, they have gold plating, you can have lights on it, and people just very impressed and they just feel therapeutic just by looking at it because it's a work of art. So those are the main differences. What do you think, Dr. Carl? I love it. Yeah, I'm so impressed with the cheek coils. I've done my research as well, and that's why I went with the cheek coils. But I wanted to get an expert to explain about the, in particular, the biocharger. And now I'd love to hear your take on the other device that we were talking about, the EE charger or something, or whatever it's called. EE something? Right. EE system. EE system. Yeah. Our cheek coils, the cheek coil Aura, and all the smaller ones, so all our devices operate on seven different technologies. We have the magnetic field, okay? You can, so it's the electromagnetic field. We have sound therapy, so you can connect speakers to it and get sound therapy directly from the frequencies themselves. We have gem therapy, so crystals. We have crystals inside these. There's no crystals in biochargers. There's no crystals in the EU system. Also, we have ion, negative ions, which actually are on the inner system. So because this actually charges up the ions, creates in the atmosphere, creates negative ions. And then there's also scalar energy, okay? But only scalar only works when you have two coils, yin and yang, working together. So biocharger, if you compare just that, they don't have the scalar and they don't have the this crystal therapy. And so that's the main thing. Now compare with the EE system, let's talk about what scalar waves are. So there's like a lot of confusion about what scalar waves are and how they work. I'm just gonna read this for you. Okay, so scalar waves are type of electromagnetic wave that are characterized by having only a magnetic pointing and no electric components. Okay, so they are always, they are sometimes referred to as longitudinal rays, waves or scalar electromagnetic waves. So, so how they're created is by interference of two identical electromagnetic waves that are out of phase with each other. Okay, and when they meet in the middle, this results in something called a scalar wave. So a third kind of wave. And it's called a, also called a standing wave because it oscillates in a single direction. And these scalar waves, people say that they are created naturally. For example, when lightning strikes, they're created during earthquakes or volcanic eruptions. And they're actually created in the human body as well. And obviously they can be created now with artificially using special equipment. So there's many methods that people are using to create these scalar waves, but basically you, the whole principle, if you read between the lines, is to balance yin and yang. That's the principle, right? Because scientifically, they're saying we're going to create something with two identical electromagnetic waves that are out of phase with each other. That's a technical explanation. Or they can say there's a phase conjugation, cone, phase conjugated electromagnetic field. That's the technical term. But what's really happening is they have a yin energy and they have a yang energy that's identical and they combine them together or they make them meet in the middle. And what's created in the middle is something called zero point energy that has no time, no space. And it is non-local, which means you can use this energy and it doesn't need to travel linearly to point A to point B. It can jump through space and time. Okay, so that's what's happening. In the ancients, they call it Wu Qi. In meditation, Wu Qi is the space between time and space, where there's no, there's no there's the infinite consciousness, the universal consciousness, if you take it that way. Scientific explanation is the zero point energy. Okay, so that's what scalar waves are. So hopefully that helps you understand a little bit more about what scalar waves do. So as I said, there's different ways of creating scalar waves and how the EE system does it is basically they have a monitor with a bunch of lights and then they have another monitor with a bunch of lights and they probably have numbers that create certain patterns on one monitor and they have another numbers and the numbers cancel out each other. That's why things happening. And when they have more monitors then they're making more of these cancellations focused in the middle of the room. So yeah, it could, it probably works. And the good part about it is that it's silent. You're just using monitors. And the good part about it, they have a lot of clinical studies and a lot of people have had success with it. 
And another good part is it looks pretty with, with lots of lights and monitors. So that's a good thing. And it's simple, right? You just set it up. I don't think they have any f- specific programs. I think they just run, run one program and then that's like good for everything. I think that's what's happening. I could be wrong. But as far as I can tell, I didn't see any like programs for like, diabetes or programs for something. I think it's just one program that they use. They do have, so the downside is that you need a room with 24 monitors, which might take up a lot of space. So they call them these scalar rooms or scalar energy rooms. They also, and a good thing is that they also have a, like a smaller version, which is like a big tower about this big. And you put it on there and the screens on each four, on the four sides. So if you don't want to have a big giant room, you can just get this tower with these four screens. It's, I think it's about three feet by three feet towers. And they're about, I would say five feet tall. And, and you can put it in a place and receive that scalar energy. Okay. So those are the good things. Here's some of the downsides I can see about the, the E system. Now, all the monitors operate at 60 Hertz. You know that monitors, either they operate at 60 Hertz or 120 Hertz. So that frequency alone is not necessarily good for the body. And then that's happening. And that's, ha- that's basically emitting radiation. You, do, you know that your computer screen is emitting radiation. So that's one downside to it. You can't really change the Hertz that those lights are flashing at, it's always going to be 60 Hertz unless they change the monitor. And I don't think they can change, they have to change the refresh rate on the screen, but then natively they're all 60 Hertz, which may or may not be good for what you want to do it for, what you want to use it for. And also the monitor radiation is present as well. Another thing is scalar energy is still on the fringe of science. It definitely does not have as much research and backing and history and proven and tested this as red light therapy and PEMF therapy. Okay, there's way more research, there's way more adoption for red light therapy and PEMF therapy because it's been around longer and it's just more accept, widely accepted by people, especially in the medical community. So the way they're operating was basically the scalar aspect, which is they're just using numbers and broadcasting these numbers on these screens. And because they're facing each other, they're making this scalar, you can call it differential in between, okay? But you're not getting light therapy, all right? And you're not getting magnetic field therapy because the lights are too far to penetrate your skin and you're not, and then the magnetic fields, you don't want that magnetic field. It's the magnetic field from the monitor. That's, you don't want that magnetic field. And it definitely is not strong enough to penetrate your skin as well because they're so far away and they're so weak. So, that's the downside, okay? Compared to chi coils. Chi coils, so if you see the room two, two feet by two feet, so the room looks like it's about, how big do you think that room looks like in their picture? I think it's probably like like a 500 or a thousand square foot room. Okay, so that's how much area you can cover with that. Chi coils can cover, and I'm gonna show you up to 6,000 square feet. So you can actually use our systems to cover a much larger area than the EE system. Also, they are movable, you can move chi coils around, and they're even portable if you want to use the smaller ones. And they're not fixed to the wall or fixed to something. That, that huge monitor thing is probably impossible to lift up to and to move. It's probably very difficult to do that. And once again, it's also a work of art. Some people may say that the E-system looks like a work of art, but they're just lines of color and no, no specific ge- sacred geometric pattern, whereas these are actually designed according to sacred geometric patterns which are more therapeutic. So those are some major differences. And G coils, once again, have 12,000 frequencies that you can use for specific things from like sleep, weight loss, detox, parasites, and some even some more serious health concerns you can use that for. And we have 10,000 different specific frequencies and we can use it for meditation and many other things that people enjoy as well. So Compared to the programs that they have, that's just a very big difference. They only have, they have one. I don't think they have more than 10. I don't know. I'm not sure. I could be wrong, like I said, but I don't see it on the website. We have 12,000. All right. So that's the main thing. And let me show you an image of what's happening and uh, what you can do with the Chico system in comparison. So here's an image of what, how you can configure the Chico auras. So these ones, each one has a 3,000 square foot coverage but the 
you can see how the yin and yang energies create that zero point field in the middle. And that's what's creating the scalar energy. So if you configure them yin yang like that, by the way, the gold is yin and the yang is the copper one, then you can create a very powerful scalar energy field right there in the middle. And that can cover 6,000 square foot. And the benefit of this is that not only do you have scalar, but you also have sound therapy and you also have pulse electromagnetic fields. All right, which the E system does not have. The only system is just, I would say 99% is just scalar energy. Okay, because the light's not really doing much. Okay, you're looking at the lights, but I don't think they really do much. And there's no electromagnetic field that's healthy for you. It's just elect the electromagnetic radiation from their monitors, which is not actually how scalar, that's not part of what their therapeutic use is for. Like I said, oral coils, you got electromagnetic field, you have the gem and crystal therapy from the sapphire gems. You have 12,000 frequencies. You have 6,000 square foot coverage, more than the, all the other ones. And you have scalar wave energy, okay? You can convert it, figure them like this in a room, 6,000 square foot. And just think about how many people you can put in a room in that 6,000 square feet. Probably like 50 people. I don't know. Quite a lot of people, right? And then people in that room will all benefit from that energy and obviously you can use these chi coils with the trifecta beds which will add that red light therapy to the experience and to the therapeutic purpose and the stacking tech stacking to your to your clinic and price wise I actually did some research so the price wise for the systems is 15,000 to 28,000 so 28,000 is the full room one 15,000 is that tower and the biochargers is 16,990. And our aura coils go start from 5,000 with our base model up to 27,000 for the, for the four coils, like you see, I configure like this and with the, the frequency upgrade. So you get the full 12,000 frequencies, obviously, including the trifecta frequencies that are exclusive to you guys. Oh, this is really helpful. I want to ask you a question. When you say 12,000 frequencies, are you talking about 12,000 programs or 12,000 frequencies? 12,000 programs. Program. So well, that's unique frequencies. Because... frequencies. We have over 300,000 frequencies. If you count, count every single frequency that we can play, of but programs, we have 12,000. So that is quite a lot. Yeah, I wanted to make sure that everyone understood the distinction because I use it all the time. I have it here in my room and uh, I have fun with it. We have one of our ladies, uh, Flora is her first name, and she's just loving it. We're just having a lot of great experience combining both the, le the red light therapy and the T coils. And I just wanted to make it clear because some people get confused with these other distractions of other types of equipment, and I'm sold on T coils. So I really appreciate this. I'm going to be sending this out to people and having them call me. My commitment was to uh, my goal is to have them have the greatest experience possible to add to the bed. And I know that the cheat coils is a great addition. Let's put it that way. So anyhow, David, I really appreciate your help with explaining this. Is there anything else you wanted to say before we said goodbye? I think it's great that we are working you know, all these companies. We're all working towards one purpose, right? Which is to use frequencies to elevate the resonance and the health of humankind. Can I, Give them hats off for creating such technologies and in their own right they're doing they're really great technologies i just think that with the chi coils and with the red light beds the summary is that it's based more on the ancient principles of health and wellness which is the yin and yang the balancing the soothing cultivating nature of longevity and also the sounds the sound frequencies combined with the electromagnetic and the scalar so we have more technologies embedded and and active and stacked than those other technologies that we talked about today. All right. Listen, I really appreciate it. You take care. And I know I'll be talking to you again soon. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye.